With the pandemic still raging in less than 100 days until the election, all of us will need to start texting and calling voters in swing states. And since we did so well in 2018, we thought we'd bring back an old friend. He's a comedian, actor, and host of the podcast, Throwing Shade. Welcome back, Brian Safi. Oh my God, I'm so excited. When Brian came on the show before the 2018 elections, we decided because we were trying to reach those moderate <laughs> voters that we weren't gonna show up as LA gays. We were gonna be salt of the earth, straight bros, okay? And that is, those are characters, you know, we, we played with middling success, I think, for me, up until I was 17. <laughs> That's I right. I, I had 18 years of practice and I couldn't nail it. Could it never nailed it, never got the part. <laughs> <laughs> but, so today we are going to call some voters because we're really trying to make sure everybody listening sees how fun and easy and rewarding it is to participate in phone banking and online canvassing because we all have to do our part uh, because uh, of the news. So, uh, Brian, let's just take a moment to get into character, okay? Mm -hmm. I love Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Chill, Fast and Furious, uh, debit yeah. card, cool. When is... <laughs> debit card. I can't believe they delayed Fast 11. It's so stupid. Oh, man, if you've been going to the protests, I'm the loudest one there. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to read a tip from phone banking for all of us. It's tips that we're going to need to, to use as, as phone bankers. And then we're going to call someone as, as the straight bros, and we're going to use that tip. Brian, are you ready? I'm so ready. I, I'm ready to make some changes. The first tip is to make sure you ask potential voters for a plan. Call scripts that ask for a plan. How would be voters actually going to get to the polls on election day are incredible. Are, are more successful. Psychologists say this is because it makes the behavior more cognitively accessible hmm. okay uh so let's let's make the first call hello hi this is juliet yes this is juliet welcome to your romeos <laughs> Listen, i've never heard that one before i'm calling because we're we're calling to make sure that you have a plan to vote okay do you have a plan to vote because i think Basically, there's two things I think these days. One is The Last of Us 2 should not have had a lesbian protagonist. And also, everybody needs a plan to vote. Yeah, my plan is planning to vote and also planning to bobsled scuba dive volleyball before the end of the end of the year. What's yours, Juliet? Um, I would say mine probably isn't that exciting, but since I live in California, my plan to vote is pretty simple. Uh, I'm having my ballot mailed to me, so I don't have to risk getting sick or making other people sick. And I'm going to vote from the comfort of my own home where I've been trapped for the last five months. Why not vote from a surfboard, bruh? Um, Julia. I don't know. I don't know if, if you could really fill out your ballot successfully on a surfboard. Fair. Juliet, I think that's a great plan. Uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, you know what else is awesome? Uh, Timothy Oliphant uh. in anything. <laughs> He's my favorite. He knows how to walk. Pay attention. <laughs> no, that ding. Uh. No, that went fucking gay on you so fast. <laughs> Juliet, that one, he knows how to walk? No, that is gay as hell. You broke. We're out. Isn't Juliet, the first thing sure everyone notices his walk? Sorry, Juliet. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. Um, trust trust so me. Juliet, I understand. You know who else has a great walk? The Mandalorian. And we're gay again. Thank you, Juliet. <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks, John. She was impressive. She was great. She had a plan. You know, she had that plan. Man. Right. I, I like that in your straight character, you started talking about Timothy Oliphant's runway walk. I, I don't think straight you. people talk about that. I don't even think they know he has legs. You know what? Anyone who ever watches a Timothy Oliphant movie or TV I know. show, he has a walk to remember. He saunters. He saunters. Look. That's look, right. I have the Deadwood days. I Look, I, I'm not a justified guy. I'm a, I, I like the early stuff. I like the early fans. Sure. The early fans, the best. And I also have to say that movie, A Walk to Remember, was originally going to be about his walk. The Nicholas Sparks movie. But then they changed it. It's like you're getting more gay in between. 
Our second call is to use nouns instead of verbs. For example, how important is it for you to be a voter in this upcoming election as opposed to how important is it to vote in this upcoming election? This is because people are more likely to vote if they see it as a virtue of their character and not just good behavior. So let's call uh, Priyanka and uh, see and, and see if she'll be a voter. Let's do it. Hello. Hi, is this Priyanka? Yo, Priyanka. Hi. Hey. Um, I'm just I'm just uh, calling because uh, these are obviously hard times. Uh, Tenet has been delayed again. It's but even still, absolute bullshit. If I don't see the next Christopher Nolan, I'm gonna fucking wreck my wardrobe. <laughs> What's happening? Sorry. Um, St Bianca, listen, all right? It's Your very voice important that different. we add. Very important. You don't know us. Do you have a plan, Priyanka, to be a voter in this upcoming election in the same way uh, I have a plan to go uh, tubing? I'm not sure if our plans are exactly the same, but I do have a plan. So if your plans exist, then similar, I suppose. Look, Priyanka, here's the thing. The reason we all need to vote is because like Vin Diesel once told us, the most <laughs> we're a family and yes. the most important thing in life is family. Oh yeah, I did hear that too. Did you know that um, uh, Michelle Rodriguez is one of the richest people in the world in terms of acting? That's a gay comment. That's uh, a gay comment. It's true, and not everyone it's knows It's a gay it. comment. I didn't know that at all, actually. This is completely new information for me. Yeah. That's good for her, though. I know. I know. <clears throat> hey, Priyanka, uh, what's your favorite season of Talking Dead? <laughs> of what? Uh, of Talking Dead, the show for true fans of Walking Dead, the where they bring show. on oh, I, cast I've never members. Even watched, I've never even watched the first, like regular Walking Dead, so I have no idea. Like, oh my God, what bro. it is you're talking about? Sorry, I'm sorry. That oh is, my God, bro, that is way um, hang ten. Do you are you gonna be a voter, Priyanka? Hell yeah. Are you gonna get an iPhone? I already have one. Cool. iPhones are straight culture. <laughs> Do you, uh, <laughs> have you seen Dickinson on Apple TV? Are, is Apple TV straight culture? I don't know. I'm certainly not Dickinson. Have you seen First States UK on HBO Max? No, should I? Is oh, that you good? Absolutely Never even it. should. It's so good. Do straight people know about John Early? Do they know about him? Can we find out? I don't know who that is. So, oh. and I'm straight. All right. Well, so there it is. Maybe that's a problem. You speak Sorry. for, you're the representative. All right, Priyanka, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Another dunk in the bucket, bro. <laughs> dunk in the bucket. It's like you're a fucking alien. <laughs> dunk in the bucket. Another that's dunk. another uh, look. That's another uh, lacrosse ball through the hoop. Yeah. That's another pigskin out the windows. Goal. <laughs> Goal. Uh, yeah. Should, should we do one more of these dumb calls? Yeah, I think they're really effective, though. I think we're making a huge difference. <laughs> Hello? Hi, is this Sean? Is this Sean Fee? Yes, it is. Hi, uh, this is... Uh, this oh is just my two God. straight. This is just, two straight guys. This is John. No, you, no, no, no. This is, this no, is, it's this a straight. Is John Lovett. No, it's not. It's a straight guy. It's a straight guy. I'm a straight guy. You can tell that I'm a straight guy because I carry myself I... with the unearned confidence of someone who assumes the entire world is built to his preference. Out of the gate, it's a straight bro <laughs> fail, bro. That <laughs> out of the gate. Oh my God. Oh my God. It no, gives a I am a straight old woman blushing like an 18 year old kid. I don't understand why you're blushing. You are talking to a lacrosse playing guy yes. who has a poster of a car <laughs> in his house. I uh, uh, I enjoy heterosexual pornography. I'm sorry to say that to you, but yes. it's something you need to know. One day he, well, he's I got just... an eye on his Porsche Porsche La Rosala. Oh my God, horrible cars. My my Bumble <laughs> picture is me leaning up against a motorcycle. 
Okay, here's the problem. Both my daughters are happily married, so I am not looking for any heterosexual guys at this point. Okay. And oh. I have no problem with John being gay. So why is this conversation going this way? <laughs> well, we just want to make... I have to be honest with you. That's really <laughs> offensive because the world has a problem with heterosexual men right now. Not oh. cool world. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Sean, Shanti, listen. All right. Again, I know you think you're talking to somebody other, some other person. I don't know who that person is. I'm again, just a guy Uh that loves, uh, uh, I just, I'm a guy that loves uh, Sopranos episodes where there's a death. Yeah. uh, As opposed to the kind Uh of dream ones where it's a kind of emotional. I don't get those. I don't like those. Here's the thing, Shanti. I just want to yeah. make sure. I just want to make sure that you have a plan to vote, and we want to make sure that you understand that uh, there's going to be big turnout, and we really need to make sure everybody turns out because actually, complaining about low turnout doesn't work. People are less likely to vote if they think voter turnout will be low. So, Shanti, do you understand, as one straight person, to <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that that there's going to be big turnout, and you've got to vote in November? Yes, I do. And if you want to know, we became citizens after that George Bush, Al Gore debacle and said, oh, my God, we can't sit on our bus. We need to vote. Let's become citizens and lost all our property in India so that we could vote. (laughs) That's incredible. Well, that's an amazing story. And I feel like I need to break character to say how beautiful that is. I'm so glad. (laughs) I'm so excited that you get to now make sure you vote to get rid of this guy. Uh, oh my so god, thank- yes. I can Orange Julius needs to be out of the White House. <laughs> and I would like Orange to say Julius in- Caesar. Orange Julius Caesar. I would I like to say that. in character that your next ten Red Bulls and vodkas are on me. Oh, I don't like Red Bull, but I am a girly girl when it comes to drinks. So yeah, vodka with et cetera, et cetera. All the sugar, yes, I'll have. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Shanti, oh thank you God. so much. Thank you both. Thank you.